Hello and welcome to the one and only tofu video you'll ever need. Pinky promise. <laughs> we'll make a baked peanut tofu, then crispy fried tofu with an orange glaze and fish steaks made out of tofu. Let's go. Obviously, each recipe requires one block of tofu, so I will start with the fish sticks. For that, cut your tofu in about four to six sticks. Kind of like that. And now set the tofu aside because we'll marinate it to get some flavor into this bland white block. <laughs> Making this marinade is super simple and our most important ingredient is nori. This is, yeah, an algae and it tastes kind of like fish because fish tastes like algae. <laughs> Anyways, this is really important. You'll find it in most well-sorted supermarkets and simply crumble it in a bowl. Then add in some water. That's enough. <laughs> For that umami flavor, about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using light soy sauce here. Then we need acidity. You can either use lemon juice, but I don't have any lemons here right now. So I'm using apple cider vinegar. Also two tablespoons. A little garlic powder. This is optional, but recommended. A little pinch MSG. And yes, it's safe to eat. Give that a quick stir. Ooh, it smells already fishy. Now you can place the tofu sticks in the marinade and toss them around a little bit. Then let them marinate for about an hour. Uh, I spilled it. I'm back with the marinated tofu and I've prepared here a Panierstraße. <laughs> That's what we would say in German. It translates to coating street. <laughs> and you do it like this. You grab a stick of tofu dust with flour, then in the plant milk, and then breadcrumbs. This is perfect. And simply repeat that. Flour, milk, breadcrumbs. Flour, milk, breadcrumbs. Flour, milk, breadcrumbs. Now you can either bake, fry, or air fry them. I will fry them because that's the quickest way. Number two, the baked peanut tofu, and I'm already preheating my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. First up, cut your tofu block into cubes. Suck. I like them kind of big. Grab a big bowl, and to this bowl we will add three tablespoons of peanut butter. I would prefer crunchy peanut butter, but we ran out of it. Really sad. <laughs> then a little bit soy sauce. This time I use dark soy sauce and some vinegar. To get more flavor in here, I will add um, garlic powder again. You can also use fresh garlic. Same goes for chili flakes and ginger powder. Add some water if needed and stir until it's a smooth and creamy peanut sauce. I totally forgot to add a little bit of salt. Don't forget that. <laughs> now drop the tofu cubes in the sauce and fully coat it. I like to use my hands for this to give the tofu some love. You can really taste that. Place the peanut tofu on a light baking tray. Woo! Sprinkle it with some sesame. Now my ultimate hack, drizzle over some maple syrup or a gavy because that will sort of caramelize in the oven. And this is really delicious. <laughs> and those beauties will go in the oven now for about 20 minutes. <laughs> Recipe number three. The crispy tofu with the orange glaze. And I don't want to say that this is the very best tofu recipe and it will convince all tofu haters, but it will. <laughs> so first up, you'll need a bowl and tear the tofu in chunks. This size is perfectly fine. Then dust the tofu with a little cornstarch, salt and pepper. <laughs> little shaky shake. Heat up some oil in a frying pan and fry the tofu until super crispy everywhere. Maybe you're now like, okay, the tofu is super crispy, but where's the flavor? And you're right. <laughs> That's why we'll make a glaze. The base for that will be orange juice. Nice. Two tablespoons light soy sauce. Four tablespoons agave, maple syrup, or any other sweetener. Chili flakes, because we are hot. <laughs> I'm brutally honest. And fresh ginger or ginger powder. Lastly, we'll need some cornstarch, about two to three tablespoons, plus three tablespoons water. <laughs> Stir well and this is our glaze. To finish that whole thing, heat up the glaze in a pan for around two to three minutes while stirring. That's really important, otherwise you'll get those weird lumps. Then you can put in the tofu, sesame, onion greens, whatever you like, and fully coat it in the beautiful glaze and we're done. That was the 
video. I hope I could brighten up your tofu life just a little bit. And let me know in the comments which, which variation is your favorite one. So like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more if you want. And see you next time.